there's a position. Water in the forepeak. Numbers one and two holes. The mail room and boiler room six and five. That means a gash 300 foot long from there to there, below the water line. Do you agree? Yes. Well? The pumps are keeping the water down in this boiler room, but the first five compartments are flooding. Well, what's the answer? She's going to sink, Captain. But she can't sink. She's unsinkable. She can't float. Look, she could float with any three of her first five watertight compartments flooded. She could even float with four of them gone. But she can't float with all five full up. Yes, but... These watertight bulkheads here only go as high as E-deck. The weight of water in the bow is going to pull her down by the head. So you're going to get the fifth watertight compartment overflowing into the sixth, the sixth into the seventh, and so on as she gets lower. It's a mathematical certainty. With that amount of underwater damage, she can't stay afloat. How long will she last? Just trying to work that out now. As far as I can see, she made 14 feet of water in the first 10 minutes after the collision. It's not very fast. She should live another hour and a half. Yes, about that, I think. There must be no panic. No. You'll be careful what you say to the passengers. Of course. How many people are there on board? 2,200 or more, and room in the boats for how many? 1,200. I don't think the Board of Trade regulations visualize this situation. Do you? <laughs> 